You did it. You helped us get to 100,000 subscribers. A huge thanks to all of you, our viewers and subscribers for supporting us for the past seven years. When we started, it was all about helping you with everyday questions. That was back in June of 2013. And here we are seven years and over 100,000 subscribers later. This was me in the early days. And much like me, things have evolved in the photography space. Let's go over the top three advancements that have had the biggest impact on photography. But first, remember to stop by our Digital Go to Showroom when you're in Miami and say hello. It makes me happy to meet you all, especially the long distance travelers. We love our Miami peeps, but it's great to see faces as far away as France, Russia, Germany, and Brazil. So jumping right into it, let's talk about the huge advancements in autofocus. Improvements made on the power and accuracy of face detection and the introduction of eye detect autofocus in the last seven years are impressive. Now the autofocus systems in most cameras today like the USR and the Sony a7R IV can lock into a face and track it without getting confused even when a subject crosses behind objects. Over the years, camera manufacturers have used machine learning to improve autofocus algorithms in order for them to recognize what they are focusing on. Now in fact, Sony's recent AF systems now even give you the option for detecting between human or animal eyes. And yes, we've tested it with the Sony a7R IV and it works really well. When animal eye detect AF is enabled, it will lock onto a dog or cat's eye and disregard human eyes. It's incredible, but don't ask me how it works. These days when shooting portraits, you don't have to worry about manually getting your subject in focus. You can just focus on talking to your subject and perfecting the lighting and compositions. Things have gotten a lot easier. The second most important advancement in cameras to us has been the video advancements made in still cameras. A few years ago, if you were a videographer or a video agency, you would have most likely had your stills camera and your professional video camera. These days, the video capabilities on stills cameras have advanced so much with ultra high definition video, image stabilization, quick and silent autofocus, and so much more that most vloggers, indie filmmakers, small companies and agencies are preferring to shoot on photography cameras because of the low cost of entry, portability, the extensive lineup of lenses, and pro quality video that they're capable of outputting. Now, some of the go-to cameras for video have been the brand new Panasonic S1H, GH5, and this Sony A7S II, and the Canon 5D Mark IV, which we're actually shooting on right now to record our video. Companies like Canon, Sony, and Panasonic have pioneered and changed the perception of what video cameras ought to look like. And in fact, Panasonic's S1H has even been certified for Netflix productions. And the number one advancement in the camera space in the last few years to us is the advancement and adoption of mirrorless cameras. Now, mirrorless cameras have been around for a little while, but in the last couple of years, the performance and adoption has really ramped up. With so many benefits over SLRs, mirrorless cameras are starting to dethrone DSLRs as the go-to cameras by being smaller and lighter, silent shooting, the ability to have autofocus across the full frame of the sensor, really fast bursts of photos, and being faster and better with video. Now you can really see the size difference when looking at them side by side. Just look at how much more compact the Canon EOS R is compared to the EOS 6D. Mirrorless cameras have now been adopted by many camera makers, including Sony, Panasonic, Fuji, Olympus, and in the last couple of years, Canon and Nikon have entered the space with their full frame mirrorless cameras like the Canon EOS R, RP, the Nikon Z6, and the Nikon Z7. The lineup of lenses being produced for these mirrorless cameras have also ramped up, and now there are more options than ever, not just from the camera makers, but also third-party manufacturers such as Sigma and Tamron. What do you think? Do you agree with our list? Let us know in the comment section below. It's exciting to see what the future holds. And with that being said, we here at Digital Guja are always trying to improve our channel and keep you up to date with everything camera related from first looks, reviews, news updates, and more. And you can always request video topics you'd like to see us cover in the comment section of each video. And it's really exciting to see how far we've come and we thank everyone for all the likes and comments. We also wanna thank all the brands that have supported us along the way, including Canon, Tamron, and Sigma. Remember, you're always welcome at our Digital Goja showroom in Miami to pick our brains about cameras or you could just say hello. 
We always appreciate meeting our subscribers, and as always, we publish new content weekly. So subscribe to our channel if you aren't part of that 100K, and tap the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. See you in the next video.